السلام علیکم اینڈ گڈ مارننگ ڈیئر فرینڈس محترم مطین ایس ٹیچر انگلش کا ایونڈ کاپ بوائز ہائی اسکول ویلکم یو ٹو این ایڈ کلاس ایس بائی کا ایونڈ کاپ بوائز ہائی اسکول مائی ڈیئر فرینڈس ٹو ڈے ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹیک این ایدر نیو کلاس آن انگلش سیکنڈ پیپر فار دس ٹو ٹیپ کلاس نائن سکس ٹو ٹین مائی ٹو ڈیز ایپورٹ ویل بی ٹو ڈسکنس Assertive into imperative. Here's my identity, you can see. I'm Mathurun Muthin, a teacher in English. I have no God Boys High School. Subject English sign paper, class 6 to 10. Transformation of sentences, assertive into imperative. Difference. Here are some learning outcomes from today's lesson. After the end of the lesson, the learners will be able to recognize the structure of assertive sentences, recognize the basic structure of imperative sentences, transform assertive sentences into imperative sentences. Dear friends, if you find any asset sense u plus should plus verb or plus or just u plus verb, here the imperative form you can start the imperative with main verb. You should do the work. The main uh, the the imperative sentence can be do the work. You should do the work. Do the work. You should not or U plus do not. In that case, you can start the input sentence do not plus verb. You should not go there, do not go there. You do not help him, do not help him. So, next rule, you plus should plus never. In that case, you can start the imperative never plus be, verb. You should never tell a lie. The input sentence will be never tell a lie. Never tell a lie. And number four, he plus vs or ves that means if you find any asset sentence with subject plus vs or ves the imperative will be let plus him plus v1 he plays football let him play football let him play football then the next rule we plus should plus v1 we should do we should go out here the imperative sentence will be let us go out we should go out, let us go out. Then next sentence, we do not hate the poor. The imperative will be, let us not hate the poor. Let us not hate the poor. So, reference one point that you should keep in your memory. That when you will find in a sentence with first person or third person, you will have to use let at the very outset of the imperative sentence. And then the objective form of the subject word is to be used. Here, Subject is we, so we have used the objective form of, uh, of the subject word we, us here. So we don't hit the poor, and the important form will be let us not hit the poor. Then, next rule, Shumi does not tell a lie, here the important will be let not Shumi tell a lie. So what's the rule here? Noun plus auxiliary verb plus not plus verb. In that case, we will transform the assertive with let not plus noun plus verb. Show me does not tell a lie, let us show me tell a lie. Then we should not never tell a lie, let us never tell a lie. Will you help him please? Please help him. Will you help him please? Please help him. Okay dear friends, I have discussed the basic type of rules on assertive into exclamatory. Here the homework for you. So, dear friends, transform the following sentence into imperative. The first sentence here, we should not tell a lie. The second one, she wants to go outside. The third one, we should never hit the poor. Number four, you do not go out. Number five, he plays cricket. Number six, you should think before you leave. Number seven, you ought to obey your friends. Number eight, Shumun does not tell a lie. Number nine, we should have patience. Number ten, you let me light it. So, dear friends, what you will have to do, you will have to transform these eight ten sentences into imperative and when you have solved the sentences and when the school will reopen, you will show your text to your concerned English teacher. So, thank you for today. Uh, I'm coming soon with another new class. So, thank you.
Okay, dear Prince.